This video goes over how to replicate a VDM SIFS environment. This video will cover the following. A quick overview of VDM SIFS replication and the steps to replicate the environment. A demonstration on Unisphere of how to replicate the VDM environment and how to fail over and fail back the replicated environment. A VDM environment consists of file systems and the VDM that holds the SIFS environmental information, such as shares database, Kerberos information, and SIF server configuration. The VDM provides the infrastructure to share file systems to users. In order to replicate a VDM environment, first the VDM must be replicated. The destination VDM requires up-to-date information about the environment for it to share its file system should it become online if a disaster event happens at the source site. After the VDM is replicated, File systems in the VDM environment can then be replicated in their own replication sessions. Referring to the figure below, the VDM on the source VNX needs to be first replicated to the destination VNX before replicating the file systems mounted on the source VDM. An existing VDM environment will be used in the Unisphere demonstration to show the following. How to replicate a VDM environment. How to fail over and fail back a replicated VDM environment. In this demo, we'll be replicating an existing VDM environment. The VDM is called source-vdm, and the file system mounted on the VDM is called marketing. To replicate the environment, click the data protection tab. Then click the mirrors and replications button. The replications tab lists the existing replication sessions that are going on on the system. To create a new replication session, you can click the create button at the bottom of the tab. For this demo, the control station connection and the data mover interconnects have already been created. To learn how to do them, you can look at the VNEX replicator video. A screen will appear for you to pick the replication type. To replicate a VDM environment, you have to first replicate the VDM. For the replication name, we'll call it source-vdm-replication. After selecting the source VDM, we then select the destination Solar network server which for this demo is ENG-19105. We then select the source data mover interconnect to use. After that, we select the interfaces that this replication session will be using. We'll have the replication operation create the destination VDM automatically. And for time on a sync, we'll leave it at the default 5 minutes. To create the replication session, we'll click the OK button here. Once the VDM replication session is listed on the tab, we can then create the file system replication session. We'll be replicating the marketing file system. For the replication session name, we'll be calling it marketing-replication. We'll use the same pool we did for the file system for the source checkpoint storage. For the destination Slayer network server, we'll use ENG-19105. We'll also select the same source data mover interconnect and interfaces that we use for the VDM replication session. Like what we did before, we'll have the replication operation create the destination file system. And for time on a sync, we'll leave it at the default 10 minutes. And to create the replication session, we'll then click the OK button. Now that we have a replication session going on for the VDM and the file system mounted on the VDM, we now have a replicated VDM environment that is replicating to the destination VNX system. Next, we'll be simulating a DR event in which the source VNX system is unreachable. Here, we are logged on Unisphere from the destination VNX system. As you can tell from the status of the two replication sessions, the network communication is down. Now, we have to fail over the two replication sessions so that the destination VNX can take over as the primary role. To fail over a VDM environment, you must first fail over the VDM replication session. Before failing over the VDM replicated environment, you should have already created an interface that uses the same name and IP address that the source VDM was using on the source VNX system. It's advisable that you already recorded the name and the IP address prior to the system going down. Now to fail over the replicated environment, first highlight the VDM replication session and click the failover button at the bottom of the tab. 
A screen will appear to confirm the failover operation. You can click the OK button. The status of the VDM replication session is now updated. Now we can fail over the file system replication session. Once the VDM environment is completely failed over, your destination VNX can now host a VDM environment. Once your source VNX is back up, you can then restart your replication sessions. Restarting the replication session reverses the flow. That means the destination VNX system will be replicating to the source VNX system. To restart the replication session, highlight the VDM entry and click the Start button at the bottom of the tab. A window will appear for you to reconfigure the settings for the replication session. We'll leave everything unchanged for this demo, except we must insert a check on the checkbox for discard changes on destination since last copy. This ensures that the latest, latest information on the VDM is replicated back to the old source VDM. Another screen will appear to confirm the new replication flow. Here you can click the OK button. Once the VDM replication session is done synchronizing, you can then restart the replication session for the file system. Make sure to enable discard changes on destination since last copy. All other settings can be left unchanged. Now your destination VNX system is hosting the VDM environment, and the VDM environment is replicating to the source VNX system. You can reverse the replication flow again, so you can revert back to the original replication state prior to the DR event. To do that, you must first reverse the flow for the VDM replication session. Highlight the VDM entry and click the reverse button at the bottom of the tab. Click OK to confirm the operation. Now reverse the flow for the marketing replication session. Now your source VDM replication environment is back to its original state. Your source VNX system is now hosting the source VDM and is replicating to de the destination VNX system. This concludes the demo. In this demo, we have covered how to create a replication session for your VDM environment and how to fail over and fail back from a DR event. For additional information about VDM replication, you can go to EMC PowerLink and enter VDM replication on the keyword search. You can also refer to VNEX Replicator's technical module.